you're saying, yeah. Communist. Okay. I hope this works. Me too. It's another absolutely gorgeous morning here in Korcha. We are up and out early this morning because we are heading to what we hope is a bus station that will take us to a smaller village outside of town. We're really excited. I hope this works. Me too. where the map said but there's no buses there so we're gonna go to the big bus station and see if, if we can find anything there here in Boscopoya. I think we might be pronouncing it wrong. The mini bus drops you off right here in the center of town. This looks like a beautiful place. I mean, even already as we've just come in, you can see that there's a lot of history here and interesting things to see. The bus left at 11 a.m. and got to Boscopoya. It took about half an hour and the cost was 150 lek per person. There's two buses back, one at one and one at four. And they pick you up the same place they drop you off. There is a map that shows you all the points of interest. There's just a gang of churches. So we're gonna go start out at a restaurant because we are hungry, then we will go look at some churches. didn't have all the things on the menu that we were hoping to order, but what we did get was really good. Yum, yum, yum. So many vegetables. A lot of cheese. A lot of cheese, a lot of vegetables, pretty much. That was our whole lunch. Would recommend. So now we are gonna go check out some churches. As you're walking around town, everything is pretty well marked, which is nice. It's like we go that way. In this town, back in the heyday, there were about 25 to 30 churches, uh, but there are only five churches that remain today still intact, and then there are the ruins of a few more. So this is one of the ones that remains here, St. Nicholas. church from here but we're gonna walk around to where that dog is drinking water because we think there might be an entrance over there. We just asked the man on the street if we can get in. He oh, said go this way. What's it for you? <laughs> yeah I don't know if it came across. We'll find out. Steve hates it when I break and enter, which is what he calls it. I just open doors that are open. Uh, I just try handles. But I tried that other handle once we were inside that first room, and it, apparently it led into the big church and the priest was inside. So he came out to check who the heck was jiggling the handle and found us. And he let us go inside the church. He had the keys. He only speaks Albanian and Italian, and apparently we can get by with Italian pretty well. From our Spanish, I guess? I guess so. He said that they only do services three times a year at that, that church. And he is the only priest in town for all of the churches that are left here. <laughs> to get to go inside that church was like walking back in time. Frescoes 
that were 300 years old that had not been retouched. As we showed you outside of the church, there was lots of graffiti um, and dates written, and he told us that that was all done by soldiers during communism who were camped out here. That's why you gotta open doors, try handles. It always works out, babe. It really has. The last two days, you might have seen in our last video, I uh, also kind of an accidental B and E into the brewery, so we got a nice tour of the brewery as well. I mean, it's a combination of Albanian people being extremely friendly and me being a little bit overly curious. It's a good combination. I've liked it so far. It's worked out well. So uh, the priest, his name was Thomai in Albanian, which is Thomas. What a nice man. And Very what a nice special day. experience. I'm glad we got to show you. We asked him before taking video inside and he said it was okay. And he said up the road here, there are more churches that we should go check out, but that he pointed, said I have all the keys, so you can't get in because he's not coming with us. Yeah. But what a nice man. Notice there's a hole here, so I'm just gonna see if we can see inside. I think we can. Keep going this way. See the next church, maybe it'll be more open. Super cool. We'll keep walking around because there are at least five more churches to check out. So uh, we've got about an hour and a half till the bus leaves again at four o'clock. I really find it fun to visit these smaller places that are less visited. We've only seen a few people walking around who seem to be tourists. Sound like they're from Espana. Yes, I think Spain or maybe German, I couldn't tell. I speak Spanish. Oh, were they? Well, I could understand it. I oh. don't speak German. Unless yeah. I speak German. Do I speak German? <laughs> do you also like visiting small places when you're traveling or do you stick to the bigger spots? Let us know in the comments what you like to do. Because, yeah, this is our vibe. Chicken. Moo. Oh. It's cool that these signs are all over town in front of the various churches. So you know what you're looking at. Stoke, this one's open. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, you know, indicator that there were frescoes and things in here, but there must have been. Oh, look at all. Oh, there we go. The here in this windowsill. So this one obviously has not been preserved. The structure itself is pretty sound, but it's seen better days in terms of um, everything else. There are clearly people bringing in icons. It's incredible that yeah. this is here. I mean, yeah. a church from the 1700s. It's probably the last church we have time for unless we happen to pass one on the way back into town. We got 26 minutes to get to this bus. found a little kid who's probably like, I don't know, a teenager taking care of all these cows and he spoke to us in English and he made sure his cows didn't come chase us as we walked by. We just met Lola here at her guest house while we're walking back. <laughs> She's giving us a rocky. This is so beautiful. 
Lola was um, picking potatoes on her farm and walking back when we were walking back from the church. <laughs> thank, thank you. Lola, thank you, Lola. Gizura. 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 <laughs> Lola gave us a shot of Rocky and uh, she called me Jennifer Lopez. That was hardcore Rocky. It right? was, but we bought some off of her because we figured support local business. Support local business and maybe go blind from some moonshine. That's fine. So we're going to make it to the bus just in time. And now we have some Rocky that we can share with new friends along the way. I love this country. Again, just the unfailing awesomeness of the Indian people. Easy peasy. Living sleazy. Half an hour later, we're back in Korcha. If we're heading anywhere from Korcha, come to the big bus terminal and catch big buses, little buses, autobuses. We'll leave a link in the description to uh, the Google map where this bus station is to make it nice and easy for you. We came home and uh, had a little rest. Did a little work and now we're heading out for dinner. What you gonna buy, Lucky? I think it's on the table now. So, this is uh, like a fast food Euro place. Steve was right. And we're getting up for takeaway because that sounds nice to go watch a story while we eat our dinner. Passed by several patisseries on the way here, so we might stop at one of those on the way and get some dessert too. Together! A home dinner setup. Oh, yeah. 